Hey guys, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica. I thought I would show you my first two weeks in September. Alright, so I know the last time I said I didn't want to go this method, I wanted to change things up. It took me a long time, I was like, I think until probably two days ago before I committed to this book because I said I wanted to try another way and so I was going to do it this way like the traveler's notebook I still haven't you know settled on a personal journal it's so of course we have the calendar in the front I haven't done anything with it because as I said I recently populated this book and you know my style already I use these dates that I had from that book that art book I don't remember the name of it I always have a picture and a to-do list and sometimes a tuck spot for receipts if I know that I'm ha I have to go buy something lots of stickers and I showed you guys I've been using these books you know they're a little on the pricier side because normally it's $20 I got them for $10 at um, Tuesday morning and Michael's also had a sale and had them on for $10 but you do get a lot you get a lot of stickers so I found some of these because I was worrying and that was the other thing too I had to think about how was I going to do my to-do list and and I got this at Michael's thinking that because it has to-do lists and stuff here and I was going to cut them out and so on but then I came across some of my old paper that I was using in my, I didn't think, I don't think I used it in August. I used it in um, July. I still had some for July. But, and so I guess it won't be for every day because I only had about 10 or so of these left. And so I think this might be for next month. Same thing here where I have a picture of the day and I got this frame at Tuesday morning it came in a pack of five I think I got it for about $3.99 and the to-do list and this was actually in those flip books I got a flip book at Michael's but I knew that I was going to use the pages in here so my dad's 80th birthday was coming up so I had to go and get a dress and so I thought I would document like my choices I ended up getting this one <laughs> I got these stickers this was a dollar store um, Dollar Tree's stickers I've used before you guys have seen them I, on the tea packet I used up a bunch of them in here and so some days I don't take a picture of myself I, I you know it's whatever reason um, but maybe if I do take a picture I put it in here on that day and I wanted to show like I posted something to say that this is how I've been documenting my year in monthly books and as you see some books have several volumes so I had three for June and two for July and I went back to one for August and this is gonna be one for September one massive one for me that had been two books and so on but I was like I I don't know at the beginning of the month I was like I don't know if I want to do this style anymore I want to do something different but I couldn't figure what some people were saying you know one of my friends on Facebook she said why don't you do bullet journals and I think I have been doing a little bit of bullet journaling in the past when you saw those that video with my folders and I showed you how I started out doing my to-do list where it would just be one square for the day and now it's escalated to one page per day and then each month has a separate book so I, I said maybe I should just see it through to the end of the year and then next year I can decide maybe to change things up here and there's another one of those stickers so washi tape and um, this was um, a teaching day 
and so I did take a picture of the office. The reason I took a picture of the office is that I have a new office mate and I had to make a lot of space for her. So I had to change my desk and this is her section over here. Style. Another one of these that I got from that flip out book for my receipts. This I got from my calendar. I love this card too. <laughs> that there's always this disparity between what the heart wants, what the brain wants. And I like how they've, you know, um, presented it in this comic strip. And this is some um, Tim Holtz fabric. You guys have used it, another one of his fabrics and the cover. You've seen me do this for a bunch of them. If we look back on the third, you will see this is where I began to use fabric. This is where I've been using um, book binding tape. And I did get some more book binding tape. So I might go back to that, you know, because you only have so much fabric. And then I did write a to-do list on a slip of paper because remember, I didn't have my book yet. I still was like vacillating between how I was going to document September. So I've been writing a bunch of stuff on scraps of paper and what I've done is transcribe them. But I can't find the sixth. <laughs> so I don't know what I will do. You've been seeing some of these kinds of um, sayings and so on. I got it from this book. So I'm going to, I'm thinking that this might become my daily journaling book. Where I'm going to use some fabric. As you guys have seen, I've used fabric on my book covers before. So I'm going to use some fabric on here and put some tea dye paper in here. And hopefully I will begin to journal again because I need it. And then the seventh, this was the day of my reading. And took a, I'm so glad I took a picture of myself in the morning. Sometimes I forget to do that because I always like to have a record, as you guys know. I was going to write about it. I found this sticker in my stash. Nailed it. <laughs> I was going to write a little bit about it because I still don't have a daily journal. And of course, my to-do list and so on. I got this from that same Carpe Diem book that I showed you. And um, I didn't go out for ice cream, but I was really happy with um, how it turned out. And then the eighth was travel day because I was heading for the party that was going to be on Sunday and so here's my boarding pass I took a selfie so you see as I show you I'm somebody who I like to document everything and even if I don't share it with you guys know that I've documented it somewhere if it's personal or otherwise this was also from that Carpe Diem book, my to-do list, washi tape, and that's basically it. Then I went to church with my folks, took a picture, this is my nephew, and all of these stickers. You know, it's beginning to look more scrapbooky, and that's fine with me. I think, you know, it adds something to the page with all of these stickers. Not much to do this day, so only two things on the to-do list. And then this is the day of the party. It's my dad. And this also came from that flip out book where I just cut out the pages and I glued them on here. So dad and mom, this is my nephew. And I left spaces because I'm waiting for the official pictures. So when my sister gets the official pictures, I want to print out a couple of them with the whole family. But these were just ones that I had taken with my phone. And there I am, of course, I took a selfie. And another of my niece, nieces. Of course, you have like full length picture. So there's gonna, it's gonna basically be a pictorial because all we did, it was like, with the whole day was preparation for this and then having fun at the party so that's all I'm gonna really say about that this was the day I was supposed to travel back but I don't know if you guys where you guys were but I was in 
um, Georgia and as you know Irma started to affect Georgia lots of rain and wind trees were down and you know the, the, the flight was cancelled I had to rebook and then there were lots of delays and so I had to stay in but it was good because I had a little bit more time with my family and so that was fine eventually I got to come back to Lafayette I took a picture here because of my this is the first thing I do anytime I come back I just check to see are my plants okay because I use that water system that self watering system with just the bottles and stuff and it usually works fine and yeah, I love my plants these were from um, that stickers that sticker pack that sort of gives this jeans effect and of course I made this pocket for my receipts another one of those pages that I cut up from the carpe diem book more of those jeans um, stickers more of my other stickers from that um, 365 sticker book to do, to do list and so on so I got this um, phone mount and that's how I took this because sometimes it takes me a while to set up the tripod and I kind of don't bother <laughs> if I have to do all of that so I'm so happy to find this I got this for like $5.99 at TJ Maxx and it worked great I just used this clamped it down somewhere popped in my phone here popped in the phone here this way and set the timer and that's how I took that picture and Friday, Saturday, I decided to just reserve one section of this instead of doing a full spread because I only took one picture and I didn't end up doing a whole lot on the 15th. I wanted to go out, but I was so tired, I just went right home after school, so I didn't do much. I did do more um saturday but i didn't take any pictures so i figured too that it would be fine to just reserve it to this section i'm gonna add a word here because um i took this from the carpe diem book i've always wanted to and i think i'm going to add a word there i have a bunch of stickers where i can find a word as well and so that's it for the first two weeks so it's a bit chunkier than i thought it would be but the good thing is that it's going to last for the whole month because I already put down the pages. You know, I don't normally put down the dates and stuff, but I did that because I wanted to make sure it would hold because I think I just like the idea of having one book. I don't want to go back to, you know, expanding too much like I did with um, June and July. So one thing though is i put down a bunch of these um product labels because any peekaboo label that i have i love to think of using it as um a frame so i'm gonna do that i'll put a little frame i'll put a little picture in here maybe up here i'll put something as well or i was gonna make it in the pocket but then i have this where i made this into a pocket and i put some receipts from yesterday in here and I just liked this cocoa butter packaging. I just liked how it looked. I got it at TJ Maxx. And as I said, I don't have a lot of those papers that I've been using here, like for these. So I'll just be using for the rest of the month whatever I have at hand. I have one more here. But I think this is the last one. This used to be a folder, you know. Uh, one of those transparent folders. I saw it at the Dollar Tree and I immediately knew how I was going to use it. So I cut it in half and I cut it down to size and I'm going to, when I take a picture on the 18th, let's just use this to show you what I mean. I'm going to put this in here. So it kind of protects the picture and it also adds something to the page. So I really like that. I mean, normally the picture is fine as you saw without a protective unless there's another picture on the other side. 
but I just like the idea of this I just saw it I wish there were a bunch more but I only saw the one and so I said this is how I'm gonna use it so I'll show you what my plans are for the rest of the month and then when I've done it I'll come back and show you how I've I've completed it this was from the Carpe Diem book here's the other side of that folder I told you about I don't think I put a picture in here because you really wouldn't be able to see much but I think if I do a journaling page I'll slip it in here or if receipts or something I'll put in here as well so this is gonna be my to-do list you see it says different than the other ways but it still ties into what I've been doing so far in terms of using these from the Carpe Diem book and as you know I keep labels just to say this is something I used or I like this labeling or packaging yeah and I kept I did every I use every part of that folder so even the scraps got used so this is also gonna be a little pocket either for receipts or whatever another one so I kept that I'm so glad I used up stuff because I hate that when I use something outside of its normal use and I waste stuff, parts of it. So I try as best as possible not to do that. I didn't find any more of those dates. I don't know what I did with 25, September 25 um, cutout of the dates. So I just kind of um, redid that there. 26. And so on so I don't know how I'm going to do my to-do list for these days but I'll figure something out and because we were coming to the end I had to reduce the page size so I would just be doing this side for the 28 this side for the 29 instead of a full page as you've seen and I tried to do the 31 as I saw it but I don't really like it so I'm just gonna put a new I'll find a new 30 cutout you, these were the ones that I used in August. I tea dyed them and used them as to-do lists in August, but I don't know if I want to do that for this. We'll see. I'm just happy that I decided on a book because I was writing on scraps of paper all the time and I'm like, why are you doing this? I mean, it's pretty, it's getting that alligator mouth that I don't really like, but I do have those smash book, um, elastic things that you can wrap around it so I'm gonna